Get closer to home now, the Supreme Court of Nevada will decide whether convicted murderer Scott Dozier will be executed with or without the use of paralytic drug cisatricurium. The panel of seven judges heard 80 minutes of arguments on the issue today. Paul Nelson was at today's hearing and joins us live in the newsroom with more. And Paul, let's start with this. What will this decision mean for Dozier? Well, the plan is to move forward with an execution regardless, Landon. The state plans on using three different drugs to execute Dozier by lethal injection, but the third one is what Dozier's attorney is concerned about. He argues that it could cause a torturous death by suffocation. 47-year-old Scott Dozier has been on death row since 2002 and would be the first Nevada inmate to be executed in 12 years. The convicted killer says he wants to speed up the process. Given the choice, his choice would be to have a humane execution as opposed to a painful, miserable experience. Dozier's representation says the drug cisatricurium could cause cruel or unusual punishment. Mr. Dozier could be conscious yet suffocating because he's received a paralytic drug. A paralytic drug kills because it paralyzes the diaphragm so you can't breathe. But the Attorney General's office says there are multiple tests that would check his consciousness after the first two drugs, diazepam and fentanyl, are administered. There will not be the delivery of the third paralytic drug unless and until he, Mr. Dozier passes a tactile stimulus check and the attending physician tells the drug administrators to proceed. Smith says the arguments made are nothing but an attack on the death penalty and that the Constitution does not require the avoidance of all risk of pain during an execution. The district court was concerned that there could be an error which would lead to a masking event and that will always be the case because we can always think of crazy hypotheticals where errors will happen. Smith says Dozier is not at risk of pain, panic or suffocation. He argues that both the U.S. and Nevada Supreme Court said the possibility of mistakes do not mean an execution should not be carried out as planned. When this court held that the, that the risk of a bungle is no argument against the method of execution. Whether the paralytic drug is used or not, the execution could still go on as planned. Regardless of how the court rules, that the ex that as far as I know, Mr. Dozier's uh, wishes are to uh, proceed with an execution. The state's supply of diazepam expired last week, but Smith says that doesn't change much because it can still find an alternative if necessary. The court could make its ruling in a couple of months. Covering the story live in the newsroom, Paul Nelson, Channel 2 News.